All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is me, Chef Strife, as you may already can tell. And we are here in my kitchen, my really small kitchen. Now, as you notice, I'm not going to be making much eye contact because things over here and my phone's over here. I'm uh, recording this on my phone because my camera didn't want to work. I want to get this video out. All right, what we're making today is some Bantha hot chocolate. Now, if you don't know what a Bantha is, it's a, it's a cow-like creature in Star Wars, produces blue milk, and it's delicious. Uh, first off here, uh, we got our two cups of blue milk. Now, if you can't get a hold of a Bantha, the next best step is just take regular milk, add a couple drops of food coloring to it, make sure it's all stirred up. I like mine, it's kind of, but yeah. And we like that, and um, with that, you're going to need one cup of white chocolate chips. Measure those out. Easy way to you can reuse things. It's less clean up later. Uh, now most recipes for hot cocoa tells you put stuff in the pot, heat it up, and stir it. All that good stuff. Don't let it boil because uh, the chocolate and stuff. When it boils, the milk will scald. The chocolate separates. It not really good. However, there's a secret here. Uh, if you get a little pot like that. Uh, and I have, well, I can't see, water. Uh, about half full of water. Right now you're going to turn your uh, stove on high, and then you want to get yourself a metal bowl. Uh, it's a real cheap, you pick them up anywhere. I got a little metal mixing bowl. Uh, always good to have one around, especially if you have hand mixers and stuff. Uh, because you're not supposed to use hand mixers in glass. And plastic it causes chipping and you can get foreign objects in your food now got my water on take your pot this and make sure it fits in your pot you don't want it floating around inside and you're just gonna set that on top oh, let's get a little thing uh, try to set this camera a little bit here so you can kind of see all right now as you see uh, baby stuff back there Anyways, uh, anyways, we got our pot of water sitting like that, and like that. And then you're gonna take your milk, pour it up in there, and then using that thing, you can measure out your cup of chocolate chips. Now, bags like these contain two cups of chocolate chips, and since I had to test the recipe before to Make sure it was, you know, make sure I got my ratios right and everything. Always a good thing to double check your recipes and, you know, any changes you need to do. Anyways, like, so I used half of that up. And then your white chocolate chips go up inside there as well. And that, uh, another thing you want to get is your imitation vanilla. Now, most vanilla you're going to get from the store, it comes in little balls like this. Uh, it's slightly brownish color, whatever like that. But my wife, she bakes cakes and stuff like that. So we have this clear vanilla. I don't know how well you can read that. It's a uh, clear vanilla. So it doesn't discolor anything like that. Not that the color would really affect too much. And you just want a little, about a teaspoon. Now you see, I didn't use thing. I do this for years. So I can pretty much guess about a teaspoon. Alright, now you got that in there, you got that in there, Let me drop this off over there in my sink area. In there, alright. So, you got in there, just kind of let it sit. Your water is going to start boiling and it's go what's going to heat your metal pan. Metal is a great conductor of heat, so you won't have to worry. So, you know, it's going to get hot. And with it, it's also, it's not going to boil. 
it won't get hot enough to boil, so you don't have to worry about that. So if you try and do this and you got other things going on, you kind of walk away and everything uh, easily can handle all that. And you don't have to worry about this. And this double boiler is a great thing for anything to do with milk, butter, anything you got to melt that you don't want to burn, double boiler. So it's a proper investment to get something. I mean, like, that, like, I think this bowl cost me like a dollar. Everything like that. And they come in various different sizes. So you just find one that fits the pot that you have. Now, every once in a while, you don't have to sit here and stir it like this, but you know, you're going to just do it until your white chocolate chips melt. Uh, be about 100 and 60, 170 degrees, everything like that. But we have plenty hot enough. All right. Uh, your pan will get hot. This one's getting hot as it is. So you need to use a uh, hot pad or something. Go ahead. Don't be brave. Don't burn your fingertips off. Pad, uh, oh, my infinite wisdom. That's the one thing I didn't grab. Not what your hot pads are, but kitchen towel works just fine as well. You just gotta be careful. I have an electric stove, so if you have gas stoves and stuff, you gotta watch using stuff like this because catch fire. All right. Now, we're getting there. Chocolate starting to melt. Like that. Now, with this, you can, obviously you can taste it. You can adjust it to your preferences. These are the preferences I liked when I made it last time for my little test. I had a good ratio. Like that. All right. Chocolate is about melted. Let's see. My water is boiling, so I'm going to turn that off. My uh, electric stove is going to keep boiling for a while, for a few more minutes. All right. Like that. Make sure that's all stirred up in there. Let's see here, I got my little digital read thermometer just to show you. 173, 174. So, it's about 170. Everything. Boiling is 212, as you guys might not know. Uh, but yeah, 212 degrees is the boiling point. So, you want to make sure you're below that. Uh, which, like I said, you shouldn't have to worry about that using this double boiler method. There, a little, a little gun holster for my thing. Always wipe up after you clean up after your mess here. All right, so we got that done. Ooh, dog, dog is at my feet. Probably a couple drops of milk on the floor. He will make sure that gets cleaned up for me. All right. We got our blue cocoa, hot chocolate, whatever you want to call it. Move that back there. That. Hit it with the whipped cream. And that. And bam. See here? Nice cup of hot Bantha chocolate made with your blue milk. 
Now, this recipe. Oops. Anyways, this recipe came from Instagram. They have all sorts of cool little Star Wars things. I'm try to do a couple of small recipes there uh, and see how these videos work out. Uh, if you guys want to see more content like this, uh, make sure you give a like, comment, something to let me know that I should keep doing this. And then, you know, I get a lot of generation for it. Not generation, but, you know, I get a lot of people that want to see this stuff. I can do more elaborate things, possibly invest the money in a camera that's not my phone and make give you guys some great culinary stuff i love doing stuff like this i eventually going to stream food at some point like maybe once a week once every couple weeks uh anyway but yeah so you see here it's uh it's done it's ready looks delicious i'm about to start my stream which this video is coming out friday this is wednesday i gotta edit it tomorrow and work and stuff like that so if you guys like the video please let me know in some way shape or form that you guys enjoyed it and you know if i get a lot of views i can keep doing stuff like this uh, if you want to see anything in particular place it in the comment section below and or send it to me on twitter uh it should be Links should be below and everything like that. And I'll see you guys on my next video.